Namaste everyone. So we are doing exercise one. Exercise one is basically the consciousness observing the consciousness. So in that process, the self is observing the self. That is, I am observing myself. And when I go to observe myself, the first step is to observe my imagination. So I observe my imagination. And I can see for myself that my feelings drive my thoughts and the thoughts drive my expectations. And then that decides my behavior and work. So I can see for myself that the feeling is there at the base of imagination. So I need to observe my feelings. So in step one, we started observing the feeling without reacting, without evaluating, without trying to change it. Then just observe it as it is. So that was step one. And we have to continue with this throughout the day. In step two, we started evaluating and we tried to see whether the feeling that I have at the moment is naturally acceptable to me or not. In step three, I started observing whether my state is comfortable or not with the feeling, which may or may not be naturally acceptable, whether I am comfortable within or not. Now with this, in step four, I started observing whether the feeling that I have at this moment, is it decided by something outside or by me? So is it decided by the situations outside or some other person or me myself am deciding my feeling? So with little discussion, observation, investigation, we can see that it is ultimately self which is deciding the feeling in the imagination. So this we can conclude at step four. Now in step five, we start observing that if I'm deciding my feeling, what is the basis of my decision? Is it based on right understanding or is it based on some assumption without right understanding? So if my feeling is based on right understanding, I'm comfortable within. My feeling is acceptable to me naturally. And I would like to continue with it. But if my feeling is based on some assumption without right understanding, it may or may not be there. So sometimes I'm comfortable within, sometimes I'm not comfortable within. So this is something that we can observe at step five. And we started doing exercises of observing oneself in our behavior, in our day-to-day -day work. So if there's any question regarding the discussion that we had so far, you may please raise your hand. Now in step four, we could see that there's a need for transforming myself. If I'm not comfortable within and I'm deciding my own feeling, it means I have to work upon myself and I get free of grudges and complaints in relationship. Now, in step five, they just shift here that if I have to work for myself, if I have to work upon myself, what do I have work for? This is essentially to ensure the right understanding. Isn't it? And when we go to explore at this step, we might have multiple assumptions, which we might have nurtured within, which we might have generated within, we might have been nurturing for a long time. Okay, that relationships are like this only, human being is like this only, society is like this only, nature is like this only, life is like this only, and so on. So whether this is right understanding or merely an assumption. So again, we have to evaluate it. As we go along, we'll keep evaluating. I have one doubt. Uh, like I have a fear on dogs because my experience with dogs is like uh, four to five times I got a dog bites right from my childhood and because of that I got so much of syringes. So even now when I see dog, I hate it, I will move on. So should I call this as a preconditioning that all the dogs will bite me or I should say this experience of getting six time bites I'm avoiding the dogs. Okay. See, if you have fear, certainly this is not a naturally acceptable state. You are not comfortable within with the fear. Okay. This is for sure, isn't it? 
when I'm in a state of fear, I'm not comfortable with it. I can also okay. see that fear is not acceptable to me naturally. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I need to come out of fear because this is my own state and my own decision. Okay. I have interpreted the biting of a dog in one particular manner, which is causing fear in me. Yes. So I need to come out of it. And if I need to come out of it, it's certainly not right understanding. Because mm. if I have right understanding, then uh, I would like to continue with it. With it, I would not like to come out of it. So mm -hmm. with a little analysis, we can see that this is not right understanding. Because this state is not naturally acceptable to me and I'm not comfortable within. So it must be some mm -hmm. assumption. Now, what happens in our living, we okay. have interactions with human beings as the rest of nature. And okay. based on those interactions, we have experiences. Okay. It may be good or bad. Uh -huh. you know? And then these experiences are interpreted in one particular manner. Okay. And this interpretation could be without right evaluation, mm -hmm. without self-verification. Mm -hmm. So it's for sure that body is my instrument. So I need to take care of my body. Okay. And the dog is an animal, okay, okay, which is also a coexistence of self and body. And okay. this, these dogs are biting me because of some kind of imagination in the self, isn't okay. it? So if okay. I understand that, how the imagination of the dog works, then okay. based on that, I will decide my conduct. For example, uh, like if it is a stray dog, and I go near to the stray dog. So the stray dogs are many times uh, like trampled by the vehicles, hit by the vehicles. Mm -hmm. So they also have some kind of reaction to vehicles. Uh, they also have, might have reaction to people who mm -hmm. uh, pass by. And that's how they... No, most of the time, the dog bite is because of my own dogs. Uh, whenever I go near to my father, because he usually have dogs. So whenever I go near to my father, these dogs will come and bite me. Uh, you, you, sorry, your father used to have dogs. Yeah. Home, okay. house dogs. He is so attached. All the dogs will be attached with my father. So whenever I go near to my... All these six experiences happened in that way. So that is okay. why I started eating dog. I said <laughs> my daddy, no more dogs. Okay. okay. Yeah. So again, there you see the way your father nurtured these dogs. Okay. So they used to uh, interact with you in a particular manner and with your father in a different manner. And yeah. there you have this kind of experience. But you might have got some assumption about dogs based mm -hmm. on your past experience. And that assumption may not be valid. You'll okay. have to see you know, why this happened at all. Why the dogs uh, like reared by your father used to bite you. Mm -hmm. So if we understand that, then we'll avoid that situation. This mm -hmm. may happen with animals. This may happen even with human beings. Isn't it? So we borrow certain assumptions within. We start uh, nurturing such assumptions within. And mm -hmm. we are generally misled by these assumptions. So now what happens though? Like pets, if you see in general, so why do we keep pets? That has to be understood. Okay. And if we keep pets, then what would be the right way to keep pets? Many times, you no. Know, like you see, people also have pets which are fearsome. You know, mm -hmm. they would like to bring those kinds of pets. There are some puppies which are very, you know, small and you know, uh, sweet type. And there will be some dogs which would be. I don't remember the names of all those varieties. Which is very fearsome. So what is the purpose of having? such dogs in the family that is something that we have to see now is it to protect the family from the inhuman conduct of the some people in the society or just for merry making fun making so all those things have to be seen and in that process what happens <coughs> we also have some mishappenings which you are mentioning so we also have to understand this so you got some assumption within because of the past experiences and then also we have to see that what would be my right conduct with animals 
this pets being one of them what is my right conduct with animals and you'll see that the sanskar that we get out of such experiences may also get applicable to human beings so might be that uh, you interacted with human beings in a particular manner and got cheated and that happened three to four times and you started fearing human beings also of a particular type of a particular class you know of a particular group a particular community and then you have this kind of assumption within true true bhai true bhai based on previous experience we are considering those kind of humans will be same if someone is over possessive uh, someone is like if i am not talking they will hurt themselves so now i avoid getting close to people so this yeah. kind of experience is happening so these are all assumptions mm mm-hmm. so of course we can rightly evaluate human beings we can also evaluate how animals have a conduct okay but if my evaluation is right in place of fearing either animals or human beings i can decide my role that this will be the right role okay 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 thank didi. you thank you so ji there is some message in the chat box that i want to protect my body can be natural way yeah so i want to protect my body that is fine so i do not need to fear something to protect my body rather i need to understand my role with that particular thing so let's say snake okay snake would be there in the nature now i want to protect my body from the snake now one way could be that i fear it the other could be like i decide my role with it i am not going to you know uh, keep uh, snakes as pets in my uh, family isn't it so i could decide my role with, with it so the behavior of the owner it's not a right understanding yes. so <clears throat> essentially you can see that the problem is not with the animal the problem is the human being isn't it true 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 yeah so that is another part you know so i decide my role with the animal this is one thing and i also decide my role with the person who is having these kinds of pets which are fearsome or which are you know likely to hit people or bite people or create problems for them so at a societal level we have to make some kind of program regarding and in fact these are happening also in colonies uh, there are now multiple rules for having pets first of all why at all we are going for pets is it to kill the loneliness in life people generally when they feel lonely in life they do not have harmonious relationships so to forget about the incidents in the past or the disharmonious uh, interactions that keep on happening keep themselves away and uh, this is and uh, this is one major reason for having pets the now when we have so many security guards cctv cameras so the reason that used to be there earlier okay to avoid thefts in the house or uh, burglary or this kind of thing so people used to have dogs now presently uh, there is no valid reason for having such animals and also we have to see that when you are having some pets then what kind of pets are good for family for the society so the assumption behind having pets also has to be investigated and then we have to discuss this kind of assumption okay and then we also have to see what happens with these pets so we keep them in the family for some time and then uh, after some time we get bored of them and then we just uh, throw them away and they become stray dogs or stray animals and then they keep keep creating <clears throat> they keep creating problems for the society then society has to have some a uh, unit which will come and take away the stray animals and things like that so ultimately our conduct with animal order has to be decided has to be understood this may not be the right conduct so we have to look into the assumption behind keeping such pets if that assumption is without right understanding that assuming is without right understanding it means there is something wrong with it we have to evaluate it so in fact this is another thing that we may look into yesterday we talked about few issues uh, that was there in the hindi session now uh, 
another issue is like having pets and what would be the right understanding here why at all we are going for pets and what would be our right conduct with the animal order okay some people keep kittens some would be keeping dogs some would be keeping uh, other varieties of uh, animals and birds so what would be the right conduct now again like keeping some birds in the cage okay is it the right conduct for the bird our conduct with the bird keeping pets in such a way that their health is not taken care of properly is it the right conduct so we have to look into essentially the assumption behind keeping pets if it is there to kill the loneliness in life the unhappiness in the relationship then the right program would not be keeping pets the right program would be uh, to work upon relationship isn't it true true yeah. so now if there is some person disturbing like this then we can have a dialogue with the person if the person agrees well and good if doesn't agree then we can go at the societal level the larger order so in colonies we have committees the uh, rwa is there you know, the residents welfare of association is there in every colony we can raise these issues in the rwa and there also you'll see that already people have been taking care of such issues because the biting by dogs is there stray dogs are there inside as well as outside the colony so multiple rules have been made and also when they take the dog for a walk in the morning okay, it creates so much of filth here and there so rules have been made for that also so our right conduct with animals pet animals properly you know, has to be understood ji ultimately bhaiya it comes out to be if not with the issue with the pet and we mostly issue with the owners uh, kindly put this uh, uh, clarification right understanding assumption and our evaluation and the difference between other and myself yeah in fact in the chat box uh, if you have some experience you can mention why people at all go for pets pets like dogs in particular we can write this in the chat box maybe that will open up also some area for exploration why at all people are going for such pets like one thing i told that it could be to kill the loneliness you know? or one thing or, is ego posting um, mostly they show that they, i am able to offer one doberman or bulldog yeah now if you look at the responses that we get so here we can see that uh, the imagination the assumption behind having pets so if it is for fear of theft then it is no longer there because now we have security guards cctv cameras and so many measures have been taken now finding love in dogs or show off or social status you know or to kill the loneliness now all these issues pertain to the relationship so the right understanding part would be that we have to understand how to ensure good relationships in the family outside the family <clears throat> so that this loneliness is not there in fact we'll see that at the societal level you know if we start participating in such activities uh which are uh, uh, in the process of ensuring right understanding then these issues are taken care of in particular this killing of loneliness so now we are a part of a larger group of people who are working for right understanding now we can share with them okay we get associated with them so there could be a case that there are people in the family who are not ready to understand and every day we are facing problems in the family but when we get associated with a larger family then these issues are taken care of in particular the loneliness part now if you look at the show off and all these things so this is essentially to do with the lack of right understanding in the human being and one has to transform oneself if he or she is not ready to transform then society is there to take care of such issues so i cannot take a decision yeah this is the person with this uh, with her problem she is come and ask me so let us give so at the first time itself it is not coming we are doing all this uh, such a calculation and then we will do our work uh, so regarding this i have uh, more clarification sir 
ji so now this is another issue that sometimes becomes some major concern for us so we have to lend money to somebody okay and uh, the person may be uh, one with whom we have not been able to work together for right understanding mm-hmm. isn't it so in relationship mm-hmm. we can share yeah. three things one we can share the right understanding mm-hmm. second we can share the mm-hmm. right feeling and with right understanding and mm-hmm. right feeling we can share physical facilities mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. now so the important part is mm-hmm. <clears throat> that if i'm not sharing right understanding and right feeling and if i only go mm-hmm. for sharing physical facility then there would be multiple mm-hmm. doubts okay mm-hmm. and if the other person mm-hmm. himself or herself is not working for right understanding right feeling then mm-hmm. uh, when we go to mm-hmm. rightly evaluate then there are multiple apprehensions based on the experiences in the past so mm-hmm. the right thing is that in every relationship i start sharing the right understanding mm-hmm. i start sharing the right feeling mm-hmm. so that the relationship is based mm-hmm. on right understanding and right feeling and not on certain other mm-hmm. assumptions or and you know, things like that mm-hmm. if i have mm-hmm. not been doing this in a particular relationship then proactively what we can do if I, at all i have to lend money or some physical facilities then mm-hmm. uh, we can clarify everything in the beginning itself that if i am mm-hmm. lending you can, you need to mm-hmm. you know, return it one thing would be that i feel within myself that okay even if he or she does not return well and good then i will not take so many measures but mm-hmm. if i feel that i need to take this amount back because this is a large amount and i will need it okay mm-hmm. then while giving i will take pro- proper measures i will first have mm-hmm. some discussion and also mm-hmm. decide what is to be done in the mm-hmm. future and uh, mm-hmm. in how much time he or she is going to return okay mm-hmm. and then we can mm-hmm. take also certain precautionary measures like giving mm-hmm. online so that and it mm-hmm. gets certified that you have lended money and things like mm-hmm. that Okay. Mm-hmm. Also, we have to see that the money which is being lent to the other person, mm-hmm. when I am having that money, what use am I making of that money? Mm-hmm. So, in general, I am saying that if I am just accumulating the money, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. not utilizing rightly, then the mm-hmm. other person will have one kind of feeling for me that he or mm-hmm. she himself or herself mm-hmm. you know, is not mm-hmm. utilizing it properly. Even if I take it and I am a needy person. i am not doing something mm. wrong but if i am mm. not accumulating i am utilizing it for you know fulfilling the human goal fulfilling mm. the needs of the family okay mm-hmm. then the other person will have a different kind of feeling that if i am taking this money from him and you know, not mm. only he his family mm. his, the society around will also be suffering so the feeling mm-hmm. would be also something different mm-hmm. okay so yeah. we also have to evaluate our conduct with the money yeah. am mm-hmm. i right with taking the money or am i merely accumulating and indulging out of it mm-hmm. if that is there then when the other person goes to evaluate me he evaluates me on the basis of all the job observations but if i am utilizing it for fulfilling the human goal i am utilizing it for ensuring prosperity in the family my family okay then he or she will have a different mm-hmm. perception about me but if at all i have to give mm-hmm. and the other person is needy and i want to take it back then i will take some precautionary measures many times it is also done that when mm-hmm. we are, we are making some uh, exchange like this then we do it at the earlier trend used to be that you do it with a group of people sitting around so that mm-hmm. everybody is assured that yes this is being committed mm-hmm. and next time when the person is not returning then you again call that group of people and then start you know having discussion over it mm-hmm. so these measures have been taken earlier in the past mm-hmm. presently we go for online and such measures would be there mm-hmm. as uh, yeah here my question is uh, uh, we thought that we should not doubt the other intention so uh, means uh, i am getting that all kinds of all sort of things it is going on our mind it is not wrong no what we are thinking uh, before we are give it uh, it is not wrong uh, see it may not uh, we have to think the on the intention of the other so the intention is pure i am assured of the yeah. other maybe that i am assured on yeah. intention 
Mm-hmm. But this is something to do with the competence. Mm-hmm. The desire yeah. may be wrong. It is possible. Okay, that the desire is wrong. Mm-hmm. If you look at the business transactions mm-hmm. that are taking place, you know, so these kinds of issues are quite mm-hmm. common. So, mm-hmm. and that's how there's a lot of uh, mm-hmm. tussle there in the relationship. So that's how we say you know, that mm-hmm. while exchanging with the other, you know, there would be three mm-hmm. modes of exchange. Mm-hmm. This is something that we were discussing mm-hmm. in the Hindi session two days back. So one would be give and give, the other would be mm-hmm. give and take, and the third would be take and take. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. generally, if the right understanding part, right feeling part is not taken care of, then the exchange would be take and take. I want to take maximum mm-hmm. from the other, the other wants to take maximum from me, and there is a tussle in the relationship. Mm-hmm. Second possibility, mm-hmm. like give and take. So I give to the other, the other is taking it. Mm-hmm. But if the other does not have a feeling of giving it or giving to me, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. that exchange, that interaction will not continue. It will not be sustainable. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. There will not be struggle here. Mm-hmm. There will not be trussle here. But there will be some bitterness involved after some time. Because I am trying mm-hmm. to give to the other. The other is not thinking of giving to me. So there would be, mm-hmm. it would be unsustainable. It would not continue. But the first mm-hmm. possibility we see, give and give. Okay, this is where mm-hmm. we fulfill our needs, and mm-hmm. we also feel happy in relationships. Mm-hmm. And if I'm capable of producing more than what I require, then naturally I would like to go for give and give. Mm-hmm. For example, a child may not give at the same time. When the mother mm. and father are giving to the child, but when the child grows up, he gives back. Mm. So in mm. our family mm. also, we can assure mm. that whatever I'm taking from the family, I give more than that. If mm. we have this kind of feeling, okay, mm. then the family grows. Individual mm. or nuclear family goes into mm. a joint family. Joint family grows into a village like this. Mm. If every human being has a feeling of giving more than one takes from the other. So mm. essentially, we need to have this kind of vision also. Mm. If I do not have this kind of vision you know, mm. of proper exchange, so two things I mentioned. Mm. Like one is mm. we can share three things: right understanding, right feeling, and physical facility. Okay. The first mm. priority is to share mm. the right understanding, then right feeling, and then physical facility. Mm. And whenever we are exchanging, also there will be three modes: give and give, give and take, and take and take. Now, including mm-hmm. all these observation and then evaluating mm-hmm. rightly, we can exchange with the other. Thank you. Thank you. Ji. Okay, so uh, Shopanji is saying that in relation we have to trust. In fact, it's not that we have to trust the intention. Intention is always trustworthy. Intention is pure. Intention essentially means the natural acceptance, the inner conscience, which is pure. That is fine. And that is there with every human being. This I can see naturally for every human being. Okay, but still I can see uh, crimes taking place and a misconduct taking place in the society. So the natural acceptance is pure, but we have to take care of the competence part. Isn't it? Otherwise, if the competence is completely in accordance with the intention, then why will the crimes take place? Why will these issues crop up at all? Why so many tussles and struggle in the family, in the family order, in the uh, uh, extended family order? Why so many issues are there? But does fear have a role or it has? it is just a part of our evolution and we are carrying it um, as a mechanism in every relationship we have two ways to go about one out of fear of mutual or out of fear of unhappiness either on my part or on the part of the other this is one way the second could be to make a program for mutual happiness similarly in our interaction with the rest of nature one could be out of fear of lack of prosperity either on my part or on the rest of nature. Or it could be for mutual prosperity. So I can make seemingly the same program 
out of fear and also with a feeling of relationship for example a guest is coming to my house hmm. then i could have a thought that if i do not receive him well what will he think isn't it he will go and complain in the society he will go and talk about me and in the extended family and then i will earn a bad reputation so i should receive him properly take care of him properly this would be one way of imagination the second could be the guest is coming he is my relative and i have to take care so that the other person feels fulfilled in the relationship this is another way now in every interaction we have these two ways and we have to opt one sometimes it is a mix i also have fear that what will happen if i do not do it right way and i also have some right feeling in me that if i do it right way the relation would be fulfilled if you see the imagination we always keep on evaluating on both the counts what will happen if i do not do what will happen if i do isn't it so the yes. same thing applies to our interaction with the rest of nature also so if you look at the tradition of human history we there also we have uh, looked at both the counts both the ways okay so i may be doing certain things out of fear of inhuman conduct of the society out of uh, the fear that i get from animals or the natural calamities i might be doing certain things and that has prompted me to go for innovations uh, uh, go for inventions and this uh, sure. is one thing to see the other could be to have the right conduct with the rest of nature with the other human being we can again go for innovation we can go for invention we can go for exploration so what is the deciding factor so generally it is found that when we do not have the right understanding we do many things out of fear either fear of human being or the rest of nature but if i have the right understanding i do not do it out of fear i do it out of complementarity how i can complement the other human being how i can uh, fulfill my relation with the rest of nature so now what has happened if you evaluate many things have happened out of fear okay yeah. so the animals were there and we did not have uh, right understanding about the animals so to protect ourselves from the animals we created so many things similarly we created weapons to you know, tackle the fear of yes. inhuman conduct of the other part of society and it is still continuing and that may also continue if people do not work for right understanding so now i can see if this for uh, myself at a personal level at the family level at the national level also so if i have if i do not have harmonious relation with the neighbors then out of fear i might i might have to do so many things Milky, but yeah mm. yeah will have Expenditure. to put in the yeah. defense equipments and all all those things would be there and that will also absorb a lot of my you know function yeah, yeah fun. but i can also make a program proactively for having harmonious relations with the neighbor okay now the other person or the other part of the uh, world may take time to understand but at least this part has to be ensured this has to be continued so if you see uh, we have been fighting throughout the history isn't it yes and the reason has been that we have not been able to work to the level the right understanding has to be sure and for that only i'm not saying that out of this program now everything is going to be fine forever no if we are able to develop the right understanding well and good otherwise we'll be carrying fear within we'll also be requiring such things in the future okay. yes but we have to decide our role whether i'm going to do it for fear or i'm going to do it for fulfillment what is the right choice fulfillment or fear yeah bhaiya yeah, um, can i ask a lead question similar um, see um, actually <laughs> as a part of biological evolution and when we study that we uh, i mean fear has certain mechanism in the body which triggers fear i mean they say i mean if you study the brain part of it then there are certain things which are relayed and there are impulses now when it's a it's a evolution of a biology that is body but there is a along with evolution of consciousness that is we are talking currently like self and if we are mostly governed by the sensations then we will follow the animal consciousness that is evolution of body like it's a 
just rule based response like it's coming from fear i will feel insecure if some new animal is coming uh, in contact with me and i will respond only through that but currently we have as a human being we have evolved self also so there we can actually uh, the, we have a possibility of just not looking from the fear perspective we have a possibility of looking from the love perspective or higher emotion first the relation perspective then maybe we'll go to love so is this the way we have to see but of course there are bodily response and sensations which will be coming but if you are not observing them will we are likely to response with fear rather than relation and other things so is this a way to look at the overall things i mean is this a right way or right understanding so, yeah so few things here now when we are imagining also we are analyzing also then we have to do it in two parts one mm. what is there you know or what i am what the way the society the family is the current state yes. and the second be what is naturally acceptable to me yes so uh, uh, these two parts have to be taken care of separately and then we have to see whether they are similar or different so mm. what has happened traditionally what is happening today what will happen it is something to do with the current state or the state that was there in the past or may happen in the future and we can see that yes activities are taking place uh, in the current state they have taken in the past also and there could be multiple driving forces one could be fear one could be enticement one could be some uh, you know, very uh, basic assumption that people might be caring about the nature and existence and they might be doing so many things out of these three things fear enticement or some uh, uh, deeply seated assumption okay yeah so now the naturally acceptable way is to understand the relationship to understand harmony to understand the coexistence and then make a program accordingly so yes. we have to really look into what what we are talking about are we looking at the things the way the things have happened or we are talking about the way the things need to happen yes ji yeah and bhaiya wo the one thing which you shared it was really uh, nice like when we are taking care of sharing um, the right sequence is actually uh, role of uh, i mean sharing first the right understanding then feeling and then physical facility many times it happens we it's easier to share the facility and we go there and there is a misunderstanding and all that one thing which i feel is right understanding we are kind of in the program of having right understanding like currently we are observing self by self and so we ourselves are not in the uh, probably in the right understanding of the things so while uh, sharing the right understanding uh, it can become uh, difficult i mean um, it's like uh, it's deeper rather sharing a physical yeah. facility yeah. is probably easier um, so how you should go about it i mean so essentially if you see right now we are sharing right understanding isn't it we are trying yes. to explore together absolutely and absolutely we are trying to you know work on that part absolutely and, ji and if we combine all the discussion that has taken place today morning so we'll see that since we might not have been doing this uh, sharing of right understanding to the extent it was required that's how we gathered fear and then we have to make so many programs and then we have so many issues so if the society gets focused on working for right understanding sharing of right understanding without carrying any preconditioning okay then we'll have a very definite kind of program for the society otherwise this kind of issues will sustain yeah we'll have fear yeah. of animals we'll have fear of inhuman conduct of human beings okay we'll have fear of natural calamities <clears throat> so uh, we have to make the right program there also one more thing to observe is that if i share merely physical facility without ensuring right understanding right feeling then the gratitude that the other person will have will be for a limited time because the facility itself is limited in time 
okay it will be temporary yes. the feeling of gratitude will be temporary <clears throat> if we share the right feeling with the other for example i uh, console the other on some situation i share my sympathy my empathy okay then the feeling of gratitude will last for a longer time with that yes. i can also share the physical facility but if i ensure the right understanding in the other then the feeling of gratitude would be forever and it will be continuous so uh, there also we can see you know, because we might have like one issue while lending money to the other the related issue is the feeling of gratitude that we share the physical facility with the other but uh, the feeling of gratitude goes missing after some time okay and maybe there are some uh, issues also cropping up some fresh issues kept cropping up in the relationship and that is because the first part the sharing of right and standing has not been taken care of beautiful absolutely bhaiya mm. hmm. thank you bhaiya thank you very much yeah nice nice bhaiya yeah. so we have been discussing uh, step 5 and some issues that came up are quite valuable we need to discuss all these issues because they prompt certain assumptions in us and they have to be understood ji so we have to see whether we are able to make out that there is a need for right understanding if there is fear inside we have to call it fear the point is we have two ways either to do something out of fear or do for fulfillment so if i am able to understand my relation with the animal i do it for fulfillment whatever interaction i do but if i do not understand my relationship with the animal then i might do it for fear this might be applicable to human beings so if there is fear inside you know that has to be uh, accepted that yes there is fear inside for security also what program i have to make so if i am able to understand my relationship with the human being and the rest of nature i make a program accordingly but if i do not understand it i do it out of fear many times मैं यही कह रही हूँ जितनी जितनी सिक्योरिटी हमारी इंश्योर होती चली जाती है ये फियर अपने आप खत्म होता चला जाता है मैं यही कह रही हूँ यही मतलब है कि जब तक हम सिक्योर नहीं हो रहे तब तक हम उसको फियर कह रहे हैं लेकिन हम केवल इतना हम इसको जांच सकते हैं बड़ी आसानी से कि क्योंकि हम अभी सिक्योर नहीं हो रहे सिक्योरिटी को नहीं समझ पा रहे उसको हम बात उसको हम नाम दे रहे हैं फियर का नहीं नहीं रुकी रुकी दिस विल नॉट रिजोल्व दी सो सिक्योरिटी भी जिसको कह रहे हैं ना अल्टीमेटली अब सिक्योरिटी भी हम इनसिक्योर फील करके अगर प्रोग्राम बना रहे हैं इफ आई एम फीलिंग इनसिक्योर विद इन देन दैट विल कॉज फियर यस तो सिक्योरिटी वर्ड जो है ना उसको भी समझना पड़ेगा सो इफ आई एम एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड माय रिलेशनशिप देन बिल्कुल बिल्कुल व्हाट आई एम डूइंग फॉर सिक्योरिटी दैट वुड बी फॉर फुलफिलमेंट बिल्कुल सो आई विद एनिमल और द रेस्ट ऑफ नेचर अदरवाइज आई एम फीलिंग इनसिक्योर विद इन एंड दैट इज कॉजिंग फियर इन मी दैट हैज टू बी एक्सेप्टेड so security also matlab this is a different word that we are using but ultimately we have to see whether we are doing it out of fear or for fulfillment that is the core issue ji so <clears throat> we are observing certain assumptions it's good that so many issues are cropping up in fact when you go to work on step 5 so from where we started discussing that will i caught call it as right understanding or will i call it as assumption now we try to justify certain feelings within us and say that this is natural this is naturally acceptable or things like this but it may be only an assumption now when i go to explore this right so i'll have to see whether i have been able to also make out what right, right understanding is so as we go along now we'll try to explore this the what this is what this right understanding is is it right understanding or merely some assumption so that's good that we uh, took up certain issues of uh, our relation with either animals or the human beings and we might be carrying so many assumptions within and we have to make out what right understanding is there in that particular relation in that particular interaction so nice so as an assignment we'll continue with this and if you work on step 5 you see that you will be getting so many issues you know which might not be resolved should i call it as right understanding or it is merely an assumption uh, in the assignment study we also mentioned certain things no 
so how to plan the career of my child and uh, how to select the uh, spouse for myself how to uh, make myself secure in future and so many things so there would be multiple assumptions involved okay and i have to sort them out if this is assumption then what is the right understanding so we go on exploring this and at this step we have to see whatever decision i am making in my life is it based on right understanding or some assumption if it is assumption then what is the right understanding this is something that we will explore further but we have to list all these issues and we have to look into our imagination the feeling okay and we have to see on what basis we are deciding these feelings so we continue with that 